guys, and today we're going to talk about World War Two. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick out some key information and I'm going to talk about World War Two and what to expect in World War Two. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to show you the trailer, which is on the Call of Duty website, and I'm going to show you the trailer which they made, and I'm going to take out some key information from from the trailer, and I'm to, and I'm going to explain what's going to be in World War Two. So I'm going to let you watch the trailer now. Peggy 80. This day I have set upon a mighty endeavor. Souls will be shaken with the violences of war. In this hour of great sacrifice, we shall prevail. Okay, so as you just watched the trailer, which I have to show you, and um, I got just got this one useful image up. This image can tell us a lot, well not really a lot, but it's basically all this image could tell us is about it could be on this looks like it's on campaign. It won't be on multiplayer because don't know what kind of game mode that would be, but it looks like you can like go on boats and go on to a different island and you can maybe take over a different island on World War Two with loads of boats and that. But we have been confirmed that there will be boats in World War Two as there will be boats coming on to the sail and taking over um you know different world um different different um, tank bases and that so we have been confirmed that will be boats also this um, image from World War 2 um, this image is interesting because as you can see it's a person yeah, with a helmet and all that but look at it. if you look closely into his eyes it's like I'm not sure if I can like zoom in like there we go like, it's like I think this must be something to do with the easter egg because it's like, I can't see, it's not really clear, but it looks like it's like, like f four people, and it's like one person kne kneeling down, and there's three people standing up, so maybe that could be an Easter egg come into um, Call of Duty as well, or something relevant to the Call of Duty Easter egg. Because it looks like he, this person here was in that situation, and that's like a flashback sort of that's what some information I found out but people don't know it's since like you don't they don't know 100% it is an Easter egg relevant to World War 2 yet but yeah um looks like it will be Easter egg and these images and this eye will be relevant to something but as you can see he's in the background with it with explosives so 
Well, maybe it's just having a shocked moment and that's just like an Easter egg. I don't know yet, but I haven't found out much information about that yet. So this image looks like it would cover multiplayer. It could lead to multiplayer or campaign. We're not sure yet, but what this image tells us is that um, there will be some sort of a tanks in Call of Duty, which you may drive with a vehicle. And you can see like this building has been blown up and fire, so it does cover that um, tanks will be in World War Two. Um, but there's like a water man here running with a knife on the end of his gun, which is relevant to World War Two as well. And his face looks like it's been like poisoned. Well, not poisoned, but it's like he's in shock because all the background and there's fighting going on. But again, this could be multiplayer or campaign we're not 100% sure yet but um, also Call of Duty are releasing a new trailer soon which will hopefully be more in depth in telling us what will be coming in like what features like what tanks if there are tanks if you can you know um, drive them. So guys um, this image does relevant to the trailer as well because remember like the trailer where we like where we gone boats into a stranded island so yeah there will be definitely stranded islands with these arcs and that uh, metal bars come out of the ground so that's really good but that's all the information I have got so far for you guys but if you stay tuned if you want more updates on Call of Duty you want me to find out more information please leave a like down below and subscribe if you're new and leave a comment and please show this video and yeah good job Call of Duty hopefully World War 2 will be a better because like you guys haven't seen me been playing on Call of Duty Advanced Warfare because no Infident Warfare because I just not like, like it because like all jetpacks and all of that but hopefully World War 2 will be a lot better and a lot you know a lot better so um, yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this little um update on Call of Duty and uh, I hopefully will be playing World War 2 if it's nice and yeah um, if you want more information please tell me down below and I'll see you next, in my next video goodbye